knock it off. You got to listen to this whole thing. Isn't he a Scientologist now too? Or he's I, like adjacent at least. What's adjacent? Like adjacent to Scientology. Uh, well, he's right now he's questing. You got to listen to his whole biography, but it's like. Okay. Well, I'm not. He, you should. <laughs> I promise you. I'm I telling won't. you, you should. <laughs> You should listen to it. Dude, it's I'm good. on revolutions right now, dude. I'm falling asleep listening to the fucking Boston Tea dude, Party. I'm telling you, he Will Smith, it's you, when you read it, it's like, because, you know, he's just like a dude in a million movies who did a bunch of stuff, and then you heard, like, his wife cheated on him, and everyone just went, like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, That was yeah. my reaction, being like, what? And it's being like, eh. It's just, it's, for some reason, it's funny, too, to watch a mega celebrity slide into almost being, like, ironic. He became yeah. a joke. Kind of, you know, not to for be, sure, not, not to slam Big Willie because now I feel connected after his autobiography. Yeah. But like he went from like the best, like crushing. He like talks about it, blockbuster, record breaking shit where like he could not miss, and it caused problems in his family. You know life. where he started to miss? Wiki Wild Wild. No, dude. After, even after that, he still fucking it, start, it still kept killing it. Um, I am legend, dude. No, of course, of course. He's every he still is. Everything he does is good. Except like Gemini Man stunk. After Earth, dude. After so, Earth. So, dude. At, what happened was he was. His, but he just did King Richard and it's a fucking, it's phenomenal. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Again, Will Smith is Will fine. Will Smith's a great actor. Fantastic. He's yeah. a fantastic actor. It's when you listen to the book, it, he bear, he just lets it all out, dude. And it's like, it, it's like you didn't know any of this stuff about him. Like, dude, like the whole thing, like, oh, what Fresh Prince. I, I, I was running with some bad guys. He was getting the shit kicked out of him, dude. Yeah. He was walking around Philly in cowboy boots. They weren't just putting him on his shoulders and spinning him around? That's a security guy, by the way. <laughs> oh, really? That's Charlie Mack. Nice. The guy who spins him is a security guy. Nice. But, dude, he was apparently like, he was saying he was like, his dad would like beat the shit out of his mom. He was a compulsive liar, too. There's a point like, There's a point later in the book where he, he like says a memory, and then he's like, so he builds this whole thing up, and he's like, yeah, and I told my mom that story, and he's like, that never happened. He's like 40 years old. But he would walk around in cowboy boots and people would just like just trash him constantly. The first day he went to Overbook, someone hit him in the head with a combination lock. Ooh. They like beat the shit out of him, dude. And then he got like tied in with like when his music blew up, he lost. He was like broke when he was doing the Fresh Prince. Really? He was hanging out with like, what is it? Junior Black Mafia dudes. Really? Yeah, dude. He like it's dude. It's insane. He was like he had a mansion. He, he got cuckolded it early on in life as well. By his like original girlfriend and that like like he raised him. a child cuckolded or just got cheated on? No, cheated on. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh wait. Oh no no no. Jesus Christ! Just yeah. cheated on. Okay. But I think he I think he uses the term cuckolded or something. He, yeah, he uses cuckolded. That's so, like, weird. He was crushing it, dude. He was like, music. wait, every time you get cheated on, you're being cucked. I mean, that's like cucked light. Yeah, that's how you end up a cuckold, like a, a like a biological cuckold. But when you get cheated on, you've been cuckolded. He was like in my young cuckolded mind. He said some kind of phrasing like that. Yeah. Yeah, dude. And he was crushed. He was like traveling, touring, all this stuff. And all the dudes were getting pussy. And he was like, no pussy. I love. He's a lover boy. He's yeah. like, I love my wife. I just want the perfect life. And then he came back and she just like, he was like a global sensation. She, she fucked a dude and like, she like sold clothes in a store. Fuck some light skinned motherfucker, dude. Of course. Green eyed light skinned motherfucker, dude. I was, I heard that. I was like, ah. it's always the light skin. Dude. That's what he said, basically. Always fucking our chicks. That's what he said. Some light eyed motherfucker, green eyed light skinned motherfucker, dude. Fuck. Yeah, dude. It's the the book. It is. It's interesting to listen to. And it's co-written with Mark Manson, who's a subtle art of not giving a expletive. Really? So there's all these little things. In, it's it's like, you know, it's read by Will Smith. There's a lot of like kind of like cheesy shit kind of. But if you can just listen to it, it's very interesting. Hmm. I couldn't put it down, dude. I couldn't take my earbuds out. Nice. He also admits to throwing up whenever he sees or I heard smells that. pussy. Well, no, it was because he got cuckolded. Yeah. And, and then he allergic. tried to just start getting, he's like, I'm going to be a pussy machine. And he would like, he needs the like, love connection, dude. So he would be coming and just be like, Ugh! and just get up and gag and like run away. <laughs> <laughs> dude, there was one part in it that was possibly the most disturbing part. Cause like he has a lot of insight into his younger childhood. And you can tell he's working with therapists and he's like, well, this was because of this. And you're listening to it. Like, oh, it's kind of insightful. And then he has like the years go by. It's like newer stuff that hasn't been processed as fully. So he, he like he's talking. He's like talking about him and Jada's relationship. And at one point, there's a story he tells that he's like, "Yeah, man, I did it." He's like, "I'm a prankster." So I did this prank on Jada, and it's like she doesn't think it was funny. I think it's the funniest thing ever. 
But like, I'll leave it to you guys to decide once and for all. And he's like, you know, he's like, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, here's what happened. And he was like, so I brought me and Jada had been together for, I, I guess it was like a couple months. It was still fresh. And he was like, so, true. <laughs> <laughs> so she was going to meet his grandmother. And so he flew his grandmother out to California, LA, where he was living. And he has this thing where he like knows how long it takes for anyone to get to play. He like times people in his head. So he's like, it'll take her 47 minutes to get where she's from her house to my house. This, and He's like, I'm going to put on a movie for my grandmother, a movie that she had like a, like a very notorious sex scene in with another guy. Where Jada did? Jada did this movie. Oh. Apparently that was like a award winning like sex scene. It was groundbreaking in black cinema. So it was well known for all the actors and stuff. So he timed it to where he put the movie on with his grandmother, knowing that Jada would walk in the door right as that sex scene came on. And he was like, it's a prank. So she walks into her getting just like dog balled on camera. <laughs> and it was like a long movie. You know, movie sex is just like a guy yeah. like thrust and comes immediately. This was like a fucking like ridiculous. What was that funny movie where they had like they made fun of it? They did like a sex montage. Uh, and it was Gruber. MacGruber, it was like, it was like real, <laughs> apparently uh, yeah. it was like real uh, life, from, from the way he described it, it was like real life MacGruber. You can't watch MacGruber with your lady. They don't like it, huh? I Every time I've ever done that, I end up, we've had sex and I do that. Oh. <laughs> I can't not do it. I can't watch MacGruber and then have sex because I'm going to go, I'm about to fill you up. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, so he puts it on and she walks in and just goes like, what the fuck? And then, like, they sit there, the whole thing, but the grandmom's kind of going like this. And th this is the weirdest part where he was like, babe. He's like, and he's this is him describing it. He's like, babe, it's perfect for us. This is perfect for us. This is a memory. This is the best. You're going to laugh. She's like, this isn't funny. This is fucked. He's yeah. like, no, babe. He, like, does, he'll do these things and be like, but it's perfect for us. This is a memory. Yeah, he's just fucked up. That's what, He's I, a I, famous person. Yeah. yeah. But it was like that. There famous was the, people are fucked up. Yeah. But that was a part of the book. I was like, you know, and he's pretty hyper competitive. And it was like, are you sure you weren't punishing her for having that sex scene? Definitely. And it, it, but that was the, that for me, that was like the part of it where I was like, whoa, dude, that didn't get fully processed. He's like, anyway, I thought it was funny. She did not And it was like, yeah, dude, that's not funny. That's not a joke, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but I will say he does lay it all out there. I'd be so ticked off if my wife or girlfriend was in a movie and even kissed a guy I'd be like bro, all right we're done he has to understand the bro ship is here it's like bro we're with you that sucks don't put that on for your grandmother and your yeah baby. maybe i wouldn't let it go and i would constantly shame her myself I, I mean dude i hear it it was just so funny to watch and maybe again maybe he does think it's funny on some level but i was watching it just like listening to the, i got like i was at the gym listening to it and i just went like oh man yeah, that's fucked up I'm like that's really crazy but you know Still goat move. I'm sure she never did that shit ever again. You better not be. He's, he's like the dog shoving the dog's nose. And you gotta speak into the mic. Speaking of why, why is this? Why is this a weekly thing? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did, well, don't be sorry. Fix it. I am right now, dude. Right. If Will, what, what were, here, dog if Will like? were here, he's just shoving. You <laughs> <laughs> shoved her nose in it. He oh did. yeah, like, you have you to. Do? That was uh, yeah, that was a deep. That was a deep fucking. <laughs> It was a deep attack. Well, you know, ultimately though, oh dude. And then, so, and then we watched the interview. So I'm, I'm just like, I'm deep into Will Smith's mind the whole weekend. I'm just watching this shit being like, it was interesting. The fact that he was at the height, the pinnacle of an actor's career, pretty much, you know, as big as a person could get. Yeah. And he was like miserable. As big Willie. Cause when he did after earth, his family, he was just like, you know, on just go mode, go, go, go. You know, his family wasn't really too happy about it. And he was married to an actress who that's a fucked up dynamic. Yeah. When somebody's like global sensation, she got so fucked up. She eventually started a heavy metal band. <laughs> she had what? She started a heavy metal band. She did? Yeah, dude. Wicked Wisdom. Jada started heavy metal band. So he was Wicked like, Wisdom? <laughs> it was Wiki Wisdom? <laughs> Wiki Wisdom. No, not, Wiki, not Wiki Wisdom. It was Wicked it, Wisdom. What the fuck? Yeah. I always, everybody always acted like she was some fucking superstar it's like no she's not i mean she was a, she was in what set it off and that was it that was the movie that jada pinkett oh really was she that the sex scene, scene? And set it off that's was the it only with, movie who was it with queen latifah yeah, <laughs> no who was a sex scene with oh I don't know. <laughs> was it really set it off the sex scene yeah i was just looking it up thank you no 
Damn, no, that's awesome. Yeah, it's like uh, she was like an extra in The Matrix, the second one or something. Well, dude, the, he was supposed to be in The Matrix. Will Smith? Yeah, he who's turned gonna, it down. Who's he was play? supposed to be fucking Keanu Reeves. What? Yes. He turned it down? He did. Well, because he had a formula because he knew what He made- turned down one of them. It was The Matrix. Yeah, he turned down The Matrix to do Wiki Wow Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. But he still got he the record He also turned sales. down Django. Yeah, that. Why? I don't know. Well, he has a formula for movies where you need to have creatures, a love story, and special effects. Those are the things that sell, ultimately. That was initially he did that. MIBs, Independence Day. He loves aliens. That was his, his manager re- read like 500 scripts and was like, this is the formula for blockbusters. Special effects, creatures, and a love story. He still picked Wiki Wild over the Matrix. There were some creatures. There were. There was a big spider. There's a big mechanical spider and a handicapped man. That counts. <laughs> that counts as a creature. True. Yeah, they had a Dr. Robotnik, didn't they? They as, did. That's the fucking feeling. Pure Robotnik. <laughs> that movie, I was pumped on that movie. A movie fucking rules. Everything he everything was right he on did. that. Artistically, every, he was right on that. Everything he did, I was as a young man, I was dude, pumped on. Wiki MIBs, Wild. Dude, dude, all he, if, when he put out a song for it, that was part of his MIBs marketing. MIBs and Wiki Wild Wild was like, yeah. those were good songs. That was part of his marketing, dude. They still hold up. Yeah, man. That Here was part of the men in black. It's stuck in your head. It's a marketing dude. He's a marketing genius. But yeah, he would go do movies like that, and then he would cut a track, and then that would get more press and all that stuff. Dude, it was the the weirdest part was is when a because there was a whole thing of like within the acting realm, like he's at a party basically, and it's like, damn, Jamie Foxx must have felt like a loser in front of Will Smith, and it, it goes into a lot of that kind of psychology. How it's like there's actors and there's superstars. Yeah, you could have been in like all these movies, and you're just like. Yeah, that guy's kind of a fucking nobody. It was like, dude, it was fucking crazy. But that's so he got to the peak of the mountain. His family started disintegrating because his is you know just because of like the crazy work schedule, all this other stuff. So he was like, all right, you know, his, his Willow got in to whip my hair back and forth. She quit halfway through tour. She was like, all right, I'm done. He was like, yeah, what the fuck? No, no, you can't be done. But she quit. And then uh, he was Jaden wanted to be in a movie, so he was like, I'm gonna heal my family. We're gonna do a movie together. And it was After Earth, and it fucking flopped. And then he had to sit there and watch everyone tear his son apart. Like, this guy's a fucking hack, loser. Yeah, but then Jaden dad... came out with Icon. What was Icon? It's a great song. True. I met, I met him once in California. You met Jaden Smith? I met Jaden. He you was really? at the wing spot. I was getting buffalo wings, and he was there with his posse. And I was eating buffalo wings, and I just screamed Jaden. And he turned around and gave me one of these and then looked away. Sweet. You screamed, Jaden. I, I was eating a buffalo wing, and Jayden. I was like, "Jaden, Jaden!" I like buffalo wing falling out of my Jayden. mouth. <laughs> eating wings. Yeah, yeah. I met Jaden. That's what's nice. up. Yeah, he was cool. And Icon's a a bop. It is a bop. Hair hair back and forth. They played it it's during the song. audiobook. I was like, "This was this this song." Yeah, did also rule. a bop. This song did rule. Yeah, Jay Z was in that deal apparently too. I think Jay Z was like managing Willow, and then Willow just cut her all of her hair off. I was like, I'm out, I'm done. I don't nice. want to tour. Women can just shut shit down. Oh, dude. like I'm just gonna shave my head, and everyone's like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want to. But, um, yeah, but it was cool. But to answer your question, he does eventually get into kind of like meditation and stuff because he was yeah. way against it. He was like, this stuff's fucking weird. He was a very like binary. I'm just gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. And then his family started to deteriorate. And then he did After Earth, and it deteriorated even further. Damn, After Earth must and have been really August bad. August Alcina huh? came in. Who's that? Oh, that's the guy who fucked his lady. Here's the other thing too, though. Honestly, it. I think he got cucked for all of us, dude. Because it's like if he can get cucked, you can't feel bad. Yeah. There's nothing else you can do. He got cucked for our sins. He got cucked for us, dude. Because any if you get cucked, it's like yeah. Well, Will Smith got cucked. You can't do any more yeah, than that. Turns out, I think what, what's going on with Nancy Reagan? I don't know. Is she cuck Rob? All I've seen is she was just great at sucking dick. What? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Is Nancy Reagan was sucking dick as a young movie as a starlet? Yeah, I think there's like. Oh wait, a, was she a starlet? 